We're back with Bradford Anderson from General Hospital. Nerdy, quirky, private investigator, Damien Spinelli. All Is that, that okay? All that? No, no you can, tell, you can call me whatever you like. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I mean, we're back here and we're talking about General Hospital. 50, 50 years. 50 years! 50 years you yesterday, day April 1st. 30. I know, you know thank you. Yeah. My first girlfriend out of college taught me about eye cream, so I'm, okay. yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so 50 years on air as of April 1st. Uh, they rang the bell yesterday at the Stock Exchange, uh, you know, some of our castmates and some of our producers. Yeah. Very exciting. It's Yeah, it's a great time. Oh, stock um, yeah, you know, day, daytime dramas have had some dark days in the last few years, yeah, they have. but I tell you, we're in a good place now. You're still standing after all these. We years. are still standing. Why do you after think that these? is? People like good stories. You know, um, you, people have enjoyed seeing reality TV for a long time, but I think people are excited about good stories again, and that's nice for everybody. That uh, for actors, for you know, everybody in our television business to have. Uh, good stories being told is good for everybody. Well, these are good fans too. Oh these people my gosh, are they're the best. In you know, stuff. I think they're the best. Obviously, I'm a little biased, um, I, but I truly think they're the best. Uh, they follow us five days a week, and they've been with us for a long time. So you're bringing back, you know, nurse the nurses ball. The nurses ball. What? For, yes. Yeah. Is what the is the nurses that? ball? The nurses ball started back in '94. It was one of our major characters, Robin Scorpio, who's a fan favorite, been on the show since she was a little girl, contracted HIV on the show. And you know, back in the early 90s, there wasn't so much information. And right. you know, so they started the Nurses Ball as a way to kind of bring awareness to AIDS-related charities and AIDS-related research. And it was this pageant where all characters performed. And so it became kind of a fan favorite event. Um, and it ran, it, they did it for about 10 years, or about you know, eight to 10 years, and then stopped in early 2000. And for the 50th anniversary, we're bringing, we're bringing it back. back. Now, let me just be clear. She mm -hmm. contracted it as a character as a on character. the show. Yes, yeah, she wasn't on Correct. set. It was, it, was a, it was a story Yeah, because yeah, it, it can get but blurred. You know, between, they, people real. often talk about daytime dramas as being a way to talk about you know relevant storylines and, 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 and relevant to the times and you know for for that time it was a big deal it was and, it, it was in all the news because I remember yeah. no one was really addressing that on, sure. on any of the shows let alone a soap opera and so right. I remember the big news that it made at that time as and, well. and to show how someone can live with it mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and take away the stigma you know that was I think what was was the big success of that story and they did it incredibly well so you uh, we have a little footage actually from behind the scenes oh, that we want to share with our audience and and you'll be hearing from your executive producer which is Frank Valentini. Correct. So let's take a look behind the scenes at Nurses Ball. I think what the Nurses Ball symbolized in the past was a yearly celebration not only of the hospital, which is of course the centerpiece of the show, but also a coming together of all of the characters and I thought it was a great opportunity for everyone to sort of mix, bring everyone together, have a little bit of a celebration of the hospital and the added benefit is that off camera we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of GH as well. One, two, three. Nice. Yeah. So the nurses ball is is part of the storyline of the show, right? Correct, it's correct. In, it happens within the, the world. And uh, yeah, it started airing uh, yesterday, Monday, and runs through this week and a little into next week as well. Um, yeah, it's been, I, Frank said, it's kind of like, a you know, everyone's back. Veterans, Who's back? Who's coming back? Oh my goodness. Well, you know, Luke and Laura are back on the no, show. Yes. Well, I mean, Luke is, you know, Luke is always coming back yeah, and forth, but Laura is back. Oh um, Rick Springfield came back for the nurses ball. Um, Jack Wagner oh uh, came gosh. back for the nurses ball. And, you know, so it's, um, uh, 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 that was Jesse performing. Lucy Coe, Lucy Coe. The one who like, played Lucy Coe. Yes, yeah, yeah, I yeah, remember yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, uh, Lynn Herring, excuse Lynn me. Herring. You know, she's such so iconic as Lucy. I in my head, it's so hard to. Um, but uh, yeah, so it's, it's been great. It's been great. For, and so for me, I've only been on the show for you know, six, seven years. So to feel the history come back in, in such a kind of glorious way is, is really special. Well, you've been on there for six years. So tell yeah. us a little about the Spinelli character. And how did you end up in this triangle? Who knew? I know. it's uh, My character came on as a guy to root for. A quirky guy, if you can imagine that. And uh, yeah, and so love wasn't, you know, wasn't, uh, he wasn't lucky in love for a long time. And so now he's almost too lucky in love because he's got these two, 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 two lovely, Does he want to be three girls. or four lucky in love? Wow, well, uh, hey. Don't be I a pig. <laughs> Look at you. Just yes, say, yeah, I can't, I'm just you know, saying it's a soap opera. We can make anything happen. That's in true. World, that's right? true. But he can't. He can't get greedy. So, <laughs> but it, it's fun now. We have two wonderful actresses uh, that are doing great Excuse work. Excuse me. Wait. Yes. You do not look too nerdy there. Look at you. Oh, I know. You are just, I know. You're looking. I'm an actor. I can. I can put yeah. it on when I need to. Besides, yeah, I will we're say a this. Sexy there. I will say this in all respect. Nerd is in right now. 
I so they, it so is. they tell me. So they yeah. tell me. Yeah. Not that Card, you are. Cardigans can, and glasses. I'm mean. telling you. Uh, can I try the glasses? I bet you, I can you, go full. You can. Can I go full nerd? You don't need to oh my god! I go full nerd? nerd? Do can it. I, if I put yeah. these on, do you yeah. guys think I'll be full nerd? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here's here's <laughs> full <laughs> on nerd. Here it is. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you look like Clark Kent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. You look like Clark Kent. Right? Yeah. You still Am look I like Clark Kent. It's the, it's the, Go ahead, Superman. Wow, you can't see anything. Uh, no, I truly can. I truly can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, look. I mean, well, do you have a direction when you get the script and go? Yeah. I hope he ends up. You know, Damien ends up well, with that, one or the other. It's hard. You know, it's hard to root against either of these girls because I, I love working with them so much. Um, the the one that has been in his realm the longest is Maxie. They've kind of been star-crossed lovers for four or five years now. So and I think the fans really like to root for her because they're. I, I don't want to use the term super couple because. I, I would never assume that like we are Brad that. Like Brad and Angelina? Or, that kind well, of thing? at least yeah. in our show. Okay. Or, uh, oh, yeah, well, that, yeah, exactly well, right. Christina. Exactly <laughs> right. Um, Wait, look that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a lot of history, and she may be carrying his child. He doesn't know that yet. But uh, mm. So when that comes out, that could prove to be quite a wrinkle. More mm -hmm. than a wrinkle. Yeah. A yeah it's a crease. Yeah. <laughs> a crease. <laughs> That's yeah. a full-on crease. So, uh, so well, it'll be interesting to see what happens at that point. Uh, I mean, it's it's no, daytime, I, I so it can... I can say so many things right now, but I'm oh, not. Geez. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Fair enough. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> okay. But, so, I'm, I'm excited to see what how he deals with that, because he's never had something of that real that magnitude. Sure. So, Aww. it's going to be interesting. Well, yeah. the best of luck with the Nurses Ball all yes. week long. It's, you show, know, it's important. And to And to also raise awareness, because that's the big thing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So Don't leave because we have the beer chicks coming up, and I know. I, I, I'm telling you. And, and there's two of them. Could be another away. triangle for you. All right. I don't there's know. Exercise, in a weird way. DIY. Uh, ooh, everything. exercise. So yeah. no, no, oh, no, I like exercise. Yeah. It's all, uh, <laughs> Catch Bradford, it's all coming up on General Hospital. Tune in to ABC weekdays, 2 Eastern, 1 o'clock Pacific Central time.